terms of MIDI continuous control power, the GM70 remains unmatched, but pitch to MIDI tracking on the GM70 is slow and woefully inadequate by modern standards. To bring the GM70 into the modern era, the GM70 Turbo version has a dedicated circuit board with a DB25 pin interface installed in place of the original 24 pin connector. The interface board functions as an integrated Roland BC13, converting the vintage 24 pin guitar signals into the modern Roland 13 pin format. This enables direct control of modern synths like the GR55 or VG99 with the vintage guitar while simultaneously generating MIDI continuous control data from the extensive controls on a vintage guitar. The board also generates new control signals for the GM70, allowing two more assignable foot switches to be plugged into the GM70 rear panel. This upgrade allows up to four foot switches and one Roland EV5 pedal to be used with the Roland GM70 Turbo, sending MIDI CC data to any MIDI synth, not just the Roland GR55, or VG99. In addition, there is a jack on the GM70 Turbo to allow direct access to the hex fuzz sound found on the Roland G202, 303, 505, and 808 guitars, and also access to pin 25, unused in the 24 pin configuration. Pin 25 can be employed as an additional control voltage source, audio carrier, etc. With the DB25 interface, the GM70 Turbo can be used with the same high-quality data-grade cables widely available for a fraction of the cost of the rare unshielded 24-pin Megami cable. Consider that a 15-foot gold-plated shielded data-grade Vulcan cable can be purchased for around $10, while the same cable in the 24-pin format, 30 years old, can sell for as high as $400 on eBay.